Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of VK. Today we are going to be talking with you guys about a very interesting device named Vcast EC2. It is a device which will be connected to your television and with the help of which you can cast things that is present on your phone directly onto the big screen just using an HDMI port. So basically it helps in converting a normal television into a smart television with just a few steps. Let's get started with the unboxing of this Vcast guys. As you guys can see, this is the box package of the Vcast EC2 device. There are a few things about this device has been mentioned in the box. The package is very small and this Vcast EC2 is available online. You can cast things onto the big screen using just Wi-Fi connection and many other things as we mentioned on the box. Let's open the box and check out what are the contents of the box itself. Once we open the box, on the left side there are a few instructions, basic instructions and on the right side there is the Vcast EC2 itself. Let's take out the Vcast EC2 and check out what other contents we have in the box. And this is the Vcast EC2, this is the connection and this is the instruction manual and let's take a look at what is present in this box and there is nothing else that is present inside the box and the connection of vcast has been mentioned on this side and this is the vcast ac2 guys there is this hdmi port there is this led light indicator the name and this is the port which we have to connect it to the tv there is a button on this side and there is this micro usb port which helps in charging of this vcast ac2 this is the port which connects your tv and convert it to smart tv and this is the cable that has been provided uh, this is one side is a receiver and it has two wired in outputs one side is the micro usb as you guys can see this is the micro usb input which goes to the vcast and there are two outputs one is a receiver wi-fi receiver and the second one is the usb charging cable and this is how you guys have to connect the usb cable to a charging brick yeah this is how you can connect it to the charging brick once the connection is successfully done, the setup somewhat looks like this. The micro USB cable has been connected to the Vcast which will go into the TV and on the right hand side is the USB to the power adapter. Now what we'll do is we'll connect the Vcast to our TV. Now the first point what we have to do here is we have to connect the power adapter to a power source or a plug point. After we have connected the power adapter to the plug point, the second step is we have to connect the Vcast to the HDMI port of our television. HDMI port will be present behind the television depending on the model of the TV you use. Once the Vcast has been connected behind the television to the HDMI port, the setup somewhat looks as I have shown in the image here. After the Vcast has been connected, just take your TV remote and using the input or source option, just navigate to the HDMI input option. If you are in AV or different option, go to HDMI now. Once we have navigated to the respective HDMI menu, the setup somewhat looks like this. Vcast will automatically be recognized as we are seeing on our television. Let me guide you to the further steps of the setup process. The first thing you have to do is, you have to take out your smartphone. Now just turn on the wireless display option that is present on your device. This wireless display option will generally be present inside the additional settings or more settings. It will be present in the different section in different devices. Depending upon the model and the make of the device, the wireless display option will be present. And in the wireless display option, the Vcast will automatically be recognized. And once it is recognized, just click on it and the connection will be successful as we are seeing on the screen of our television. Now connecting your smartphones to the Vcast can be quite tricky but I will help you out with this process. Let us get iPhone out of the way. In the iPhone, there is an option called AirPlay mirroring using which you can connect your iPhones to the Vcast easily. That's how we connect iPhones to Vcast. Next, Samsung phones. In Samsung phones, there is an option called Smart View that is present in the quick settings toggle. If you don't find it, go to the settings and search for Smart View. If you are using an old Samsung phone, there is an option called Screen Mirroring that we can find in the quick settings toggle if you pull down that bar from the top. 
Now, if you're using different brand phones, the option will be called cast screen. This option will generally be present in the quick settings toggle. If you click on the cast screen, vcast will be discovered or it will be recognized and you can connect it. The cast screen is also not present. Then you have an option called wireless display in some other different brand of phones. Depending on the different brand of phones, the options will generally be cast screen, wireless display, smart view or etc. with which you can connect the vcast to your smartphones easily as I have shown in this clip. Once your connection is successful, as you can see, everything that is present on our mobile phone screen is being mirrored or it is getting duplicated onto our television screen. So we can easily enjoy the content on the big screen. If you guys want to see versatile knowledge videos on the YouTube on the big screen, you guys can do that using the process. If you guys want to enjoy Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, Woot, or if you want to enjoy any content on the big screen, you can easily do using the Vcast device. You can even control the volume of the content that is playing on the television just by using the television remote as well. So your TV basically became a smart TV just by paying around 700 or 800 rupees for this Vcast device. And whatever content that is present on your smartphone is directly mirrored onto your television. So you can even reply to chats on your big screen as well. This product is available on Amazon India in the name of Anycast for a price of 899 rupees and it is available on other e-commerce sites in the name of Vcast for a price of 800 to 900 rupees. I will be leaving the links in the description for the similar kind of devices present on the Indian e-commerce sites. If you guys want to buy this product, just go to the link in the description and buy from that link. It will certainly help the channel. And if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and amazing content ahead. Thank you for watching guys.